Hey guys, welcome back. And we are here today. I've got three guests now. Family is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I'll start over here. Hi, Courtney Miles. Who are you? Phil, Simone's coach. There you go. That's going <laughs> to stick now. Hi, guys. I'm Becky Ryan. And again, uh, we are going to be covering, I know uh, with COVID it's been pretty difficult. Some of us uh, only can go out and play with small groups. So this is the part where uh, instead of just playing regular games, what we're going to do is do four different adaptations of games where maybe you have a little fun, a little laugh potentially, uh, which is always good. So to start us off, I got Phil here with the first game. What are we doing, Phil? All right, the first game that we're gonna play kind of focuses on slowing the ball down a little bit, getting into the soft game, getting more dink rallies going, because I think that's the number one complaint that we hear is that we go out to the open court play and everybody just hits the ball hard, hard, hard all the time. And so this is a fun game where it forces you to slow it down. So the way we play, we go out and play a normal point serves and returns and then once a ball lands in the kitchen every single shot for the rest of the points must land in the kitchen so if it lands beyond the kitchen it's out but if i if hit, it, hit out it out of the, out of the air, air we on still me. play yeah yes. playable. Okay. all right perfect all right let's do it okay here we go yours oh, i'm not that letting it So now every ball has to be in the kitchen after that first shot. Staging. Ah, oh, you try nice to talk rally. in the middle of the point. So, <laughs> you can't talk in nice the rally. No. Here we go, Becky. All right, here we go. All right, ready? Ready for this speed here? Oh! <laughs> you didn't nice want to dig? Nice you didn't want to dig? Every shot's in the kitchen now. Yo. Oh, that's nice. Boy, saved you, Becky. Yeah, thank you so much. There you wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, nice, nice okay. get, Becky. Very so nice. you notice that the ball didn't land into the kitchen. Becky took it out of the air so she could still hit it anywhere she wants. It's only when the ball lands in the kitchen, every shot from then on has to be in the kitchen. Okay, so the next game that we are going to do is we are going to, if you hit the ball in the net, then your score goes back to zero. Okay, oh, okay, so if we hit the ball in the net, the score is back to zero. We got to start all over again. Okay. Zero, zero, two. Oh, oh right. no. Zero. Back to zero, Courtney. Back to zero. <laughs> back to zero. No harm, no foul. Start from the bottom, stay uh -huh. at the bottom. All righty, zero, zero, one. Got it. Yep. No! Ah! All the work for me to do that! Is that all you got, Simone? Is that all? Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't hit it to me, Phil. You know it. <laughs> all right, zero, zero, two. Oh. Got you. Got it. Oh. oh, back to zero, Simone. I you know. missed it in the net. I, I oh, did see you move. I know. I, did I see moved. You. That was me, guys. I faked her out. <laughs> it's okay. Zero, zero, two. Ah. Oh, oh. In. Nope, I'm that ready. That doesn't count in the net because they went under the net. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Ah. Yo, yep. I got it. Oh, no, that's a point. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're going to make them go All back right. to zero. Yep. Here we go. Watch that net now. shot. <laughs> Not missing in the net. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I love standing here. And just like that, back to zero. I'm going to grab some popcorn. It's beautiful. Just like that. 
The next game we're going to do is quite simple, hopefully. So we're going to play regular points out, but the only rule here is that every third shot must be a drop, okay? Every other shot, free for all, you can do whatever, but that third shot has to be a drop. If you don't drop it, you lose the point automatically, all right? Yours. Oh. Oh. Blow it. Okay. Ready? Zero, zero. Good try, Simone. Nice play, Good. Bill. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh no! no! Whoops! Whoopsie! Your serve, partner. You want me to serve? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, let's see it. All right. Third shot drop. I saved you. That's and you hit it into the net. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Those number one rule, four. not in the net. Okay. What, last one. Oh, oh nice drop. Out. Just for the record, Simone's return was out. Yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> Just, yeah. All right, so this last one. This is honestly one of the most fun games that uh, we come up with here. Uh, and the reason for it is because it becomes a little bit of a circus. But the key here, the key element is that you cannot let the ball bounce off of the third shot drop. So it's kind of like what we were doing just then, but now you must take that ball out of the air, okay? For the team that is the receiving team, they are trying to apply pressure because again, the moment that we make our ball bounce into the kitchen, they lose the point. So for the whole point, so let's say if we're serving, Phil and Courtney cannot let any ball bounce. Our goal is to make sure that we do that. I mean, we can win the point other ways, but, but ultimately if we make the ball bounce into their kitchen, they're dead meat. And the same when they're serving is the same way. So you'll see there'll be some funny points and the rules still apply. You cannot, cannot get into the kitchen to take the ball out of the air. So here we go. There you go. You. No. Reach for it, Courtney. No. Oh! I don't know if we're going to hit to fill in this game. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Not oh, sure right now, right now. Let's see how fast he gets in. <laughs> He didn't even try. <laughs> Where's the Ernie? <laughs> try Perfect it again, time. Yeah. Oh, oh. Got it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Whoops. All right, I'll let you guys have some fun yeah. with it. Hard <laughs> <Our> turn. <laughs> Here we go. You. Yeah. Oh! 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 I had you, Becky. And you. With her height, you, her reach, you should have seen. She would have taken that out My of the My extendo arm I, I was know. coming. You I, didn't see I that? I tried Come to on. make it too good. I tried to. You. No. Oh, Let's go. Nice shot. Look at all that stuff. Nice shot. But the one thing I'll say, I'll add on for this game, is that a lot of the times, the reason why I implemented this game was two things. One is about getting up from the serving when you're uh, returning, getting up to that kitchen and not taking your time. Because again, if you take your time, then more likely the ball is gonna bounce in front of you. And now it's easier for the team that is serving to then get on a more offensive positioning. The other part is, is that when we are at the kitchen, oftentimes I see players allowing the ball to bounce, especially into the blue, 
when they should be taking the ball out of the air, which again takes time away from your opponent. Okay, uh, the one thing that, you know, um, of course there are times where you just can't take the ball out of the air. But that's the part that it makes fun and, and you laugh. And again, playing games is always fun and having a little, you know, a few things to work on is always better. So you guys, we're just gonna go over really quickly. So Phil will explain to us again, what's, what's the point? All right, so with our game we did, uh, if you hit a shot into the kitchen, every shot for the remainder of the point has to be in the kitchen. We did that so we can have more rallies where it's soft. We work on our dinking in point play situations because that doesn't happen enough during our open play. And then Courtney? For ours, we did the, if you hit it in the net, you go back to zero. And the reason for that is, is because that net is your number one opponent. So you want to make sure that you beat that net. Otherwise, it's very hard to beat the people across the net from you. Awesome. And then with mine one, I just explained it, so mm -hmm. now Becky. Yeah, so for our game, we just did a regular point, but we had to make sure that that third shot was a drop. We couldn't drive or lob it. Main reason we're doing that is because we can drill third shot drops all day long, but until we can implement it with a little bit of pressure in point play, doesn't really matter, okay? We can drill it and get it 100% of the time, but if we go out and play rec, rec play and just do what we're comfortable with and driving and lobbing, we're not getting at any actual practice there. Perfect. So again, I hope you enjoy these games and that you can use it at home with your friends, with your small group and have some fun. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon.